Bonjour, mon nom est Ryan, je suis étudiante à la faculté de droit de l'université d'Ottawa. Euh, dans le contexte de cette vidéo, on m'a demandé de vous raconter quelque chose sur moi et donc je choisis euh, de vous raconter d'où je viens. Alors, je suis née en Algérie, dans une ville euh, à l'est, nord-est algérien qui s'appelle Skigda, magnifique ville côtière pour n'importe qui qui peut être intéressé. Euh, et pourquoi je vous parle de l'Algérie eh Parce que dans l'histoire de mon immigration, ça a toujours été extrêmement important pour moi de maintenir un ancrage avec mes origines, avec euh, mes origines algériennes, mais aussi mes origines africaines. Et, et, et donc, euh, la philosophie qui a guidé un peu euh, mon immigration se base sur un dicton africain qui dit « peu importe la durée de, de l'arbre dans l'eau, il ne deviendra jamais poisson ». Et, et dans, le, dans le cadre de mes études en droit, ce dicton a pris une autre, une, une autre tournure. C'est la première fois que je l'ai interprété différemment. Et, et, et je l'ai interprété dans, le, dans, le, dans la dimension des inégalités. Je me dis, peu importe à quel point on peut vivre dans un monde où est-ce que les inégalités sont littéralement dans, à toutes les échelles de notre société, il ne faut pas qu'on les internalise au point de les reproduire. Et, et, et pour moi, ce dicton a donc pris un tout autre sens et, et, et guidera probablement maintenant ma carrière comme il a autrefois guidé mon, mon, mon immigration et mon identité, euh, euh, mes identités plutôt. Euh, alors, euh, c'est ce que je choisis de partager sur moi aujourd'hui. Euh, J'en profite pour remercier toutes les personnes qui sont impliquées dans la remise de ce prix. C'est un prix que j'accepte avec énormément d'humilité. Euh, je remercie ma faculté pour la nomination. Euh, c'est un grand honneur que vous me faites. Et puis... Euh, pour terminer, je, je félicite chaleureusement euh, l'ensemble des autres candidats à travers le Canada euh, qui eux, se sont vus décerner ce prix euh, aujourd'hui également. Euh, je, suis, je suis très contente de savoir que c'est des valeurs qui sont partagées et j'ai bien hâte de pouvoir travailler avec vous euh, dans, dans, dans des luttes et dans des objectifs communs. Donc, merci beaucoup. It's such an honor to be one of the inaugural winners of the RSC Abella Award. Um, as a Black woman, equity and social justice are very near and dear to my heart and something that I've definitely put at the forefront of all the activities I do at Queens. And so it means the world to receive an award named after um, Justice Rosalie Abella, who is She was a groundbreaker and um, I, I can only hope that the people who receive the award, um, you know, my fellow uh, award winners this year, but also many award winners to come, they continue to pave the way for these difficult conversations and this much needed change. Tanse, Masiga San Anita Cardinal Stewart, Nanichia West Quail, Woodland Cree First Nations, Treaty A Territory. Hi, my name is Anita Cardinal Stewart, and I am a Cree woman from Woodland Cree First Nations on Treaty A Territory. I am a third year law student at the University of Alberta, where I have sat the last two years as president of the Indigenous Law Students Association. I was also honored to sit as the president of the National Indigenous Law Students Association um, last year, and I am the student representative of the Indigenous Bar Association as well. I am a mother to three sons, 13, 17, and 28, and uh, my oldest son has a son of his own, so I have a four-year-old grandson, so I am a Kukum. I started law school a bit later in life. I was a paralegal for over a decade before I realized that going to law school was uh, inevitable, and I am very grateful to be almost done. I think today, right now, I have 24 hours left of law school, and I had a really fantastic time. It really helped me find myself, um, at least realize what I wanted to do for the rest of my life, and that was to help my community, um, to be a role model for youth and my community, and to help affect change, um, create a better world, and doing that through the legal profession would be something that I, myself, would be very proud of. And I look forward to this next journey in life.
And I'm so grateful and so honored to be the inaugural recipient of this prestigious award that is honoring Justice Sabella. Thank you. My name is Harry Critchley, and I'm a graduating student at the Schulich School of Law at Dalhousie University. I want to congratulate Justice Abella on the occasion of her retirement and thank the Royal Society for creating this prestigious award to honor her long and illustrious career. A little bit about myself. I was born and raised in Toronto, but I've lived here in Halifax for 12 years. After doing my undergraduate degree at Dalhousie, I worked for a number of years as an educator and researcher, including in the School of Access at the Nova Scotia Community College. Most recently, I was the Access to Justice Coordinator at the Law Reform Commission of Nova Scotia. I decided to come to Schulich in 2019, and it was really the only law school that I considered in light of the faculty's long-standing history of community involvement and social justice advocacy. And in the time that I've been here, I've been very lucky to work with a number of students and professors on a variety of projects. Uh, in the summer after my first year, I worked at the BC Civil Liberties Association, where I worked on a number of litigation and law reform projects in the areas of policing, corrections, and health privacy. And in the summer after my second year, I worked as a legal advocate at the Elizabeth Fry Society of mainland Nova Scotia, where I assisted with the society's criminal, civil, disciplinary, and constitutional matters, including a successful constitutional challenge to the dry cell provisions of the Corrections and Conditional Release Act. Outside of this professional work, I have a long history working with incarcerated and criminalized Nova Scotians. I'm currently the co-chair of the East Coast Prison Justice Society together with Professor Sheila Wildman here at Schulich. And East Coast Prison Justice is a law reform, policy reform, and advocacy organization uh, intended to address the needs of criminalized Nova Scotians. Currently, together with the BC Civil Liberties Association, we are a participant coalition in the Mass Casualty Commission ongoing in the province. Uh, I'm also currently the youngest member of the Board of Police Commissioners for the Halifax Regional Police and also the Police Advisory Board for the Halifax District RCMP. So in closing, I want to again thank uh, the Royal Society and congratulate Justice Sabella. Hello, my name is Rory Erickson and my pronouns are he, him. I'm a graduating student at the University of Saskatchewan's College of Law on Treaty 6 territory, and I'm incredibly honored to be the recipient of the Royal Society of Canada's Justice Rosalie Silberman Abella Prize. As I receive this award as a queer, neurodivergent person, it is a powerful affirmation of those identities. But this award stands also as a symbol of the enduring power of the many Black, Indigenous, and racialized leaders who have long forged a path of, for justice and truth in our communities. This award belongs also to those who have done this vital and challenging work despite the resistance and violence faced in guiding us towards the necessary horizon of anti-racist and anti-oppressive futures. This future and this present is because of them, but it must be upheld by each of us in every aspect of our lives. We are together on this path, and as we go along it, we must affirm these principles of truth and the justice when law becomes a problem and not the answer we most need. I give many thanks to Justice Rosalie Silverman Abella it was helped to open doors so that many others could follow. As a woman, as a mother, and as a refugee, she is a judge who embodies so much of the world that must be upheld with an injustice because these voices carry us forward. As a final thank you, I would like to offer my utmost appreciation for a few of the many people who have supported me on this journey. My parents, David and Diane, and my brother Tor, Maria Campbell, Marilyn Poitras, Dean Martin Philipson, Dr. Verna St. Dennis, Michaela Keat, Dr. Mar uh, Carmen Gillies, Brie Lohenberger, Sarah Lowen, Dr. Jamie Lavalley, Dr. Rachel Lowen Walker, JC Steele, Taylor Vauden, Jody Hanshroff, Andre Baer, and Domingo Robinson. And as a constant reminder, while we continue this important work, Black lives still matter, Indigenous lives still matter, and trans lives still matter. Thank you. My name is Alana Haste. 
I would like to thank the Royal Society from my heart for this incredible recognition. It is such a tremendous honor to win an award in the name of Justice Sabella. She is one of my great heroes. I came to law school because I wanted to help others find safety and access justice. I received a feminist public interest fellowship to work with Pamela Cross at Luke's Place, a remarkable charity that helps women and children escaping violence find help with the law. I've also worked with Senator Kim Pate and the amazing team at the Elizabeth Fry Society of Ottawa on prisoner justice advocacy. I am so grateful to these brilliant women for being inspirational mentors and role models. Receiving this award is a testament not only to my achievements, but to the love and support of so many people who have helped me to be where I am today. This award was a team effort. I'm so grateful to my loving family who have taught me that kindness, love, and courage make the world a better and more just place. I'm also so fortunate to have wonderful friends who are wise and compassionate human beings who give me strength and hope. And I'm thankful to my professors and colleagues at the University of Ottawa. Thank you for believing in me and for showing me the way to create law with heart. To these amazing people and to all of the other award winners, this award is a recognition that we are on the right path but there is so much work to be done. Together, let us work to continue to build Justice Abella's vision of a more equitable and accessible justice system. Lastly, but most importantly, I dedicate this award to my daughter. I see your courage and I'm so proud of you. Bonjour tout le monde, donc je m'appelle Ritarine, étudiante en troisième année à l'Université de Montréal. Donc, euh, un petit fun fact sur moi, j'ai immigré euh, du Maroc à l'âge de 5 ans et euh, le premier quartier dans lequel j'ai immigré, c'est le quartier de Saint-Michel à Montréal. Euh, et euh, vraiment, c'est de là qu'est né mon amour pour le quartier. Depuis que je suis toute petite, ma mère, elle m'a vraiment transmis cette valeur de devoir euh, redonner à la communauté qui nous avait en quelque sorte hébergée. Puis, c'est de là que, de fil en aiguille, j'ai voulu en apprendre davantage sur les différentes organisations. Puis, euh, à l'entrée au baccalauréat, j'ai connu la clinique juridique de Saint-Michel, pour laquelle je suis encore, euh, euh, trois ans plus tard, euh, encore impliquée. Et euh, à titre de coordonnatrice et directrice générale, j'ai euh, la chance de pouvoir exercer ma passion pour le droit, euh, de pouvoir euh, redonner à la communauté de Saint-Michel en matière d'accès à la justice, en matière de lutte contre le profilage racial également. Et euh, on a des super beaux projets qui s'en viennent. Je suis extrêmement fière du travail que toute l'équipe et moi-même avons fait. Puis, euh, j'aimerais vraiment remercier la société euh, de m'octroyer ce privilège d'être nommée pour ce prix. Je pense que c'est euh, extrêmement motivant de savoir que nos efforts sont récompensés. Puis, euh, sachant que l'implication fait vraiment partie de mon identité, euh, je ne pouvais espérer mieux que de recevoir un prix de la sorte. Donc, merci beaucoup. Au plaisir. Au revoir. My name is Miriam and I am so honored to be Osgoode Hall Law School's inaugural winner of the Royal Society of Canada Justice Rosalia Bellin Prize. I'm very grateful for the warm support of my mentors, professors, friends and family for nurturing me, uplifting me and inspiring me to continue my social justice advocacy. As a settler on the sacred Indigenous land in the Dish with One Spoon territory, I also recognize that part of advancing equity and social justice includes the responsibility to work alongside Indigenous communities and towards decolonization. My passion for social justice advocacy is rooted in my lived experiences as an Afghan Canadian woman settler living in the inner city neighborhood of St. Jamestown, Toronto. From creating legal education material about anti-Black racism and the criminal justice system, to merging the visual arts and the law to facilitate Know Your Rights workshops for racialized youth, as well as serving on the Executive Board of Directors at my local community legal clinic, this recognition further strengthens my commitment to continue my hard work and fight to so towards social justice throughout my legal career. 
It's an honor to receive this award in Justice Isabella's name as she has made a tremendous impact in advancing equity and social justice across Canadian society and beyond. I'd also like to extend my warm congratulations to all the other phenomenal winners of this prize. My name is Arya Kamal, and I am a third year student at Lakehead University's Bor Alaskan Faculty of Law. I am very thankful and honored to have been selected as a recipient of the Royal Society of Canada's Justice Rosalie Silberman Abella Award. As a Muslim woman, I experience a discrepancy between equality in the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms and its social implementation at a young age, and became a strong believer in social justice and substantive equality as a result. Throughout my time in law school, I also realized that a legal education is not rooted in the fundamentals of social justice. Despite this, I have learned that an effective advocate must first learn to recognize and decipher the lived experiences of their clients to the best of their ability. Guided by Justice Isabella's dynamic legacy in advancing equity and social justice within the law, I hope to dedicate my future legal career into implementing the equitable changes that I wish to see in the world. Thank you. Hello, my name is Patrick Leger, and I'm a third year law student at the University of New Brunswick's Faculty of Law. I'm here today to respectfully accept the Justice Rosalie Silberman Abella Prize issued by the Royal Society of Canada. I am honored to receive this award. I could not think of a more fitting namesake than that of the Honorable Justice Abella. Justice Abella is known for her positive influence on the change of social justice and equity across Canada. Social justice and equity. These are concepts that cannot be built without the help of very many people. And specifically, very many people across the province of New Brunswick, for what I've experienced. As a founding member and vice president of the Restorative Justice Society of New Brunswick, much of my time has been spent developing this program while in law school. The goal of the society is to divert young people from the criminal justice system. And to this end, I extend my sincere thanks to all of those across New Brunswick and abroad who have helped build this society into what it is today. I would further like to thank the faculty and students at the University of New Brunswick who have helped in building the society to what it is. I would like to thank Dean Michael Marin for nominating me for this award. And I would like to thank my family, and specifically my mother for all the support and guidance they provided through my time at law school. So once again, thank you very much. Bonjour à tous, my name is Neve Leonard, and I am so honored to receive the inaugural Justice Rosalie Silberman Abella Prize. Justice Abella is one of my role models. She has made tremendous contributions to legal scholarship and jurisprudence without ever losing sight of the fact that the law is meant to serve people. These principles are a guiding light. I received this prize today for my contributions to social justice, but as anyone who has ever worked on social impact initiatives knows, social impact is a collective endeavor. I am so grateful to work daily with people who are careful optimists, brilliant strategists, and most importantly, who are incredibly kind. At Athies Boring, where I was chair of the board of directors from 2015 to 2021, we identified the systematic barriers that many young people face when engaging with democratic institutions and developed on the ground programs and online campaigns to equip young people with the tools they need to directly influence the decisions that affect them. In the 2019 federal election, we were able to reach over 2 million young people. And this achievement would not have been possible without the large collective of people who believed in our democracy. Welcome Collective, an organization of which I'm a board member and have been since 2019, was founded in 2018 when there was a particularly large influx of refugee claimants into Montreal. By developing a collaborative governance structure in which refugee claimants play a central role, the organization has been able to serve over 5,000 refugee claimants as they arrive in the city. So thank you to the Royal Society of Canada for this prize, which I share wholeheartedly with my 
peers and mentors and colleagues and friends without whom none of this work would have been possible. Who knows what the next steps in my journey will hold, but one thing is certain. Justice Sabella's vision and values will remain a guiding light. Merci beaucoup. Donc, bonjour, je me nomme Catherine Laure. Un des éléments les plus importants à savoir sur moi, c'est la possibilité que j'ai eue quand j'étais jeune, soit la chance de voyager à travers différents continents, que ce soit l'Asie, l'Afrique ou l'Océanie. Donc, à travers ces différents voyages j'ai pu voir un peu le problème d'accès à la justice, puis plus précisément à travers mon voyage en Inde, j'ai pu voir un peu là, la problématique que diverses classes sociales n'avaient pas la même possibilité d'avoir accès au système de santé, etc., notamment avec les personnes qui étaient mendiantes dans la rue, ce qui m'a poussé à vouloir comprendre de système. Puis je pense que la meilleure façon de comprendre le système d'ailleurs, c'est de comprendre pour débuter notre système ici. Et c'est une des raisons principales également qui m'a motivée d'aller au bacalleur en droit. Euh, je crois que la possibilité d'aller en droit est une chance qui m'a été donnée et par conséquent, il faut redonner à la société à travers notre apprentissage comme notre carrière. C'est les principaux motifs également là, qui m'ont motivé à impliquer dans différents projets sociaux offerts par l'université, mais d'aide juridique notamment pro bono que j'ai fait trois années, également le bureau d'information juridique et le comité juridique de la droite. L'ensemble de ces applications-là et implications m'ont permis de comprendre un peu plus là, les enjeux qui entouraient l'accès à la justice et l'importance de parler de ce sujet-là et de favoriser cet accès, peu importe la classe sociale et l'ethnicité qu'on a. C'est une des raisons pour laquelle mes objectifs futurs dans ma carrière vont être de continuer cet impact positif-là que je tente d'avoir à travers mon bac et ça à travers une carrière diversifiée et qui permet là, de focaliser l'importance d'avoir accès à la justice et ce, peu importe là, qui nous sommes et peu importe dans quelle classe sociale, ethnicité ou euh, société nous vivons. My name is Layla and I'm joining you from the unceded territories of the Musqueam, Squamish and Tsleil-Waututh. I want to thank the Royal Society of Canada for recognizing my efforts to advance access to justice and substantive equality, including through my pre-law school work in the nonprofit sector and during law school with the BC Civil Liberties Association and the Immigration and Refugee Legal Clinic here in Vancouver. I also want to extend my warm congratulations to the other award recipients. The depth and diversity of your work is inspiring and I hope to build community with you and support your endeavors in any way that I can. After graduation, I'm looking forward to advancing Justice Abella's legacy when I clerk at the BC Court of Appeal and the Supreme Court of Canada. The idea that I would get to walk through the same hallways that she did is a true privilege that I don't take lightly. As just one of many students at my school working to advance social justice, I'd like to dedicate this award to my friends and colleagues at UBC Law and thank them for their inspiration, passion and dedication. I'd also like to thank my close family and friends for their support throughout the past few years, particularly my partner Graham, without whom I would never have had the courage to apply to law school in the first place. Thank you once again to the Royal Society of Canada for this enormous honour. Bonjour, euh, je m'appelle Bénédicte Philippe, je suis étudiante à l'école du Barreau et j'ai fait, euh, fait mon droit à l'Université de Sherbrooke de 2018 à 2021. Euh, je vous remercie et je suis très heureuse d'avoir reçu le prix Silverman à Bella comme étant là, une des personnes euh, les plus susceptibles d'avoir une influence positive sur l'équité et la justice sociale au Canada après l'obtention de mon diplôme. Euh, J'ai eu la chance, euh, au travers de mon parcours, de m'impliquer de diverses façons, en ayant toujours là, un penchant euh, vers le domaine sur autochtone. Euh, étant moi-même le membre de la communauté euh, Inou de Maseyach, mais n'ayant pas grandi là-bas, c'était vraiment pour moi là, une façon de reconnecter avec ma communauté. J'ai donc là, appris à comprendre l'importance et la place centrale que devrait occuper l'équité et la justice sociale dans la société. C'est alors, là, pour moi, euh, réellement un honneur que mes inspirations et euh, mes implications aient été là, reconnues par mon université et euh, la Société royale du Canada en euh, me décevant ce prix. 
J'aimerais donc là, à remercier euh, tous ceux qui m'ont permis de développer ce côté de ma personne et euh, j'espère être en mesure là, de continuer à, à parfaire mon influence euh, positive euh, au cours de mon parcours professionnel. Donc, euh, merci beaucoup. Bonjour, je suis Pascal Rioux, étudiante finissante au Juris Docteur de la Faculté de droit de l'Université de Moncton. Durant mon parcours académique en droit, j'ai été en mesure de concrétiser et d'orienter davantage mes intérêts pour la justice sociale. Par l'entremise des diverses implications communautaires et universitaires, entre autres à la présidence de la Fédération étudiante de mon université, à titre de représentante étudiante au sein du comité Femmes et égalité entre les genres et celui de la réconciliation avec les peuples autochtones de mon université, et sans oublier auprès de divers organismes sans but lucratif au sein de ma communauté, j'ai su mettre la main à la pâte pour faire avancer certaines causes sociales. Ayant grandi et vécu au Nouveau-Brunswick, seule province officiellement bilingue au Canada, j'ai développé un intérêt marqué pour les droits des communautés linguistiques en situation minoritaire au pays. Qui plus est, ayant eu la chance de côtoyer certains groupes autochtones de par mes implications, j'ai également développé un intérêt pour les droits autochtones. J'aspire donc à développer mes connaissances juridiques dans ces deux domaines et d'y dédier une potentielle carrière. En guise de conclusion, j'aimerais remercier chaleureusement la Société royale du Canada pour ce prix. Recevoir cette distinction portant le nom de l'une des femmes les plus inspirantes dans le monde juridique est motivant plus que jamais. Merci également au corps professoral de la Faculté de droit de l'Université de Moncton, mon doyen, Maître Serge Roussel, ma famille, mes proches et mes amis pour leur soutien incontestable depuis le début de mon parcours. À vous tous, je vous dis merci. Bonjour, mon nom est David Saint-Chagrin. Je suis docteur en sciences politiques de l'Université du Québec à Montréal, où j'ai complété un doctorat en sciences politiques sous la direction d'Alain G. Gagnon. Dans mon doctorat, justement, j'ai essayé de, de mettre ensemble, justement, plusieurs aspects du droit qui me semblent passionnants comme politologue la question de la justice sociale, la question justement euh, du rapport entre les nations et la transposition de leur vision euh, d'une communauté dans le langage du droit, dans le langage du droit constitutionnel, mais aussi la façon dont le droit peut être instrumentalisé par les pouvoirs politiques et économiques pour bloquer les progrès sociaux, bloquer la reconnaissance euh, des groupes minoritaires, des nations minoritaires, mais aussi, euh, ma thèse de doctorat, c'est une façon de réfléchir comment le droit justement, peut être le véhicule pour débloquer, débloquer euh, ce qui a été bloqué par le passé, euh, permettre l'ouverture, permettre l'avancée du progrès social. C'est pourquoi je suis vraiment fier d'être récipiendaire du prix Abella euh, de la Société royale du Canada. Euh, J'ai toujours pris le droit au sérieux comme politologue et euh, recevoir le prix Abella est un grand honneur pour moi et ça confirme justement euh, que je fais partie de je l'espère, et humblement d'une grande conversation canadienne sur les rapports entre le droit, entre les nations qui composent euh, la Fédération canadienne, mais aussi le rapport entre les droits individuels et l'ensemble des autres droits, les droits collectifs, les droits socio-économiques, les droits des peuples, et être conscient qu'une bonne approche du droit, c'est une approche qui comprend ça comme un, un équilibre, un équilibre qui est complexe, qui est difficile, euh, mais qu'on doit prendre de front. Puis, euh, c'est aussi se rappeler que euh, le droit euh, est un complément de la démocratie, parce que la démocratie, et que la démocratie, finalement, c'est le socle le plus important pour protéger les droits de la personne, c'est-à-dire une société libre, saine, où il y a un débat, où il n'y a pas de grandes inégalités. Merci beaucoup. Thank you to the Royal Society of Canada and the Faculty of Law at Western University for this incredible honor. My name is Rahul Sapra, and over the past three years, I have had the privilege of studying at Western Law. In that time, I've come to better understand something that I've intuitively known for quite a while, and that is that the law is powerful. It is a powerful tool that has great potential to be used as a force for good, but as marginalized people in this country know all too well, it can also be used as a force for oppression, colonization, and other evils. 
At law school, we take our first steps towards understanding how to wield the power of the law. And as any of my fellow Spider-Man fans will tell you, with great power comes great responsibility. We, as those who are lucky and fortunate enough to have studied the law, have a responsibility to fight for justice, a responsibility to advocate for equality, and a responsibility to ensure that the power of the law is used only for good. Justice Abella has understood this responsibility. Over the course of her incredible career, she has been a tireless advocate for justice and a tireless defender of the rule of law. As she enters retirement, it is up to the next generations to take up the fight. We must accept the responsibility that comes with the privilege of studying the law, and we must seek to live up to the legacy set by Justice Abella. In accepting this award, I am committed to doing just that. I will ensure that this award serves as a constant reminder of my responsibility and the promise that I must fulfill. Of course, I could never make good on that responsibility alone. In fighting for social justice now and in the future, I owe a great debt and will owe a great debt to so many. The support of my family, the faculty at Western Law, in particular Dean Erica Chamberlain, Professor Wade Wright, Professor Melanie Randall, and Professor Sunil Gurmuk, all of the mentors that I've had at Blake's, the entire Western Law class of 2022, who are all as committed to social justice as I am, and my wonderful co-recipients of this award, who it has been so inspiring to connect with and learn about over these past few weeks, are all instrumental in my responsibility and me achieving that responsibility. So thank you to all of those who have supported me, all those who will support me, and thank you again to the Royal Society for this tremendous honor. Dear Justice Abella, my name is Tyrone Sequera, and I'm one of the 23 inaugural winners of the Justice Rosalie Silverman Abella Prize. Thank you for leading a life of first. You have broken down many barriers for so many people in Canada, and for that, we are eternally grateful. You have made Canada what it is today, and for that, you should be proud. With these awards, law students will be able to continue your legacy of living a life of first, fighting for equality, and making equity an important legal concept. As lawyers, we must acknowledge that we are in a privileged position, and we must look for ways to give back to those who are marginalized by society. It is an honor to be among the inaugural winners of the Royal Society of Canada, Justice Rosalie Silberman Abella Prize. As a law student who is most likely to positively influence equity and social justice in Canada or globally. Being a part of the Black Lawyers Student Association of Windsor has allowed me to create wonderful opportunities to give back to those who need it the most. Working with Balsa Windsor, we built a new pro bono project, which will give law students an opportunity to work with Windsor Children's Aid Society to educate children with incarcerated family members about the visitation process. If we can inspire one young person to follow their dreams through this project, that to me is a job well done. I have also had the privilege of working with the Student Law Society of Windsor, ultimately creating the first student-run Black and Indigenous Scholarship Fund in Windsor Law. Justice Abella led a life of first as a first Jewish woman and refugee to serve on the Supreme Court of Canada. In Windsor, we are celebrating the incredible Dean Rimbadi as a first Arab woman and Palestinian to serve as a Dean of Law in Canada. To honor these incredible trailblazers, it only seems right to continue their legacy of leading a life of first. As such, I will donate all of my award money to the first student-run scholarship fund for future Black and Indigenous Windsor Law students. I am the first lawyer in my family, but I would not have been able to do it without the support of so many people. Of course, thank you to my mom, grandmother, and big sister Tyra for helping me become the person I am today. Thank you to many people who helped support me by giving me an opportunity to work hard and change my life. A special thank, thank you to Natasha Daly for being an incredible mentor and friend. I have no doubt she will continue to live a life of first in her own right. Also, thank you to so many others at Windsor Law who have become part of my family. 
I'm looking forward to continuing to do this work at Borden Ladner Gervais this summer as an incoming summer student. I'm very excited to have the opportunity to work with the incredible EDI champions, Lale Mucheri, Samantha Samuels, Angela Sordi, and so many other BLG team members who put EDI into practice daily. Thank you again, and it is truly an honor to be among the inaugural winners of the Justice Rosalie Silverman Abella Prize. Hi everyone, peace be upon you all. My name is Dela Soraya. I'm born and raised in Calgary, Alberta, and I went to the University of Calgary. It's kind of cheesy, but I can honestly say I wanted to be a lawyer since I was a little girl. Um, growing up, you know, I witnessed a lot of the barriers my mom faced as a low-income immigrant, and I really wanted to advocate for her and other vulnerable people just like her. And once I got into law school, I quickly realized that I was in a really privileged position because I could use my legal education and my lived experience to shine a light on issues that people were maybe not aware of or didn't fully understand. And that really sparked my passion to fight for justice no matter what. And that's exactly what Justice Isabella has been doing throughout her life. And one of the many, many reasons why I see her as such a role model and why I'm so, so honored to have been the recipient of this award. I honestly think that it's my duty to use my passion and my privilege and carry on the torch, so to speak, to continue fighting for justice and continue putting in the work to try to make our society better than it was the day before. I just want to take this time to thank Justice Isabella because she's taught me in more ways than one that change is possible and I just hope I can make a change where it counts. Thank you very much. Hello everyone. My name is Hannah Taylor, my pronouns are she, they, and I'm a third year law student at Robson Hall Faculty of Law at the University of Manitoba. I am honored to be one of the students receiving the Justice Rosalie Silberman Abella Prize this year. Justice Abella's achievements and legacy of historic contributions to equality in Canada are incredible, and to receive an award bearing her name is humbling. Thank you to the Royal Society of Canada for including me among this amazing group. Thank you also to Dean Richard Jockelson and Dr. Gillian McNeil for supporting my nomination. This truly means so much to me. I would also like to extend my gratitude to those I've had the chance to volunteer alongside as a law student. Every project I've been a part of during my time at Robson was made possible through collective effort, dedication, and care. And so I share this recognition with every student and practitioner who's a teammate of mine in our work for the Trans ID Clinic, Gani Ganichik, Outlaws, and Tamil Rights Group. I decided to go to law school because I want my career to be centered on service to the community. Having the chance to pursue a legal education is an incredible gift. Today, as I get ready to graduate, I take this opportunity to commit myself anew to using the gift I've been given to make things more equitable, safer, and brighter for those around me. Thank you and congratulations to my fellow honorees. My name is Denise Ilmaz, um, and I'm a graduating law student at the University of Toronto Faculty of Law. And I am truly honoured to receive this award from the Royal Society of Canada and um, intend to make this video a bit of a thank you note uh, to, those who've, uh, to those whose stories I carry into my work as an advocate. Uh, first, I'd like to thank my family, especially my mother, my grandmother and my aunt, uh, who have all raised me, but also who are the embodiment of positive impact. They are all healthcare workers, uh, so they are all in the business of caring, and they've guided me um, and encouraged me to stay rooted in what matters. Um, in 2003, when we immigrated to Canada, we moved to a small neighborhood in Toronto known as Flemington Park. And Flemington Park is a small uh, but incredibly diverse community that has housed immigrants for generations. I hold this community in high esteem because Flemington is where I learned that neighbors should take care of neighbors and where justice sometimes is a ripple effect that starts from the smallest of actions. 
Um, so given these teachings, I can only hope to be of service to this community and communities like Flemington in the future. Um, and so thank you again for this recognition. I'm truly honored. Mm -hmm.